The star pupil in the mare trot class is the spectacular Peace Corps. The three-time Breeders' Crown champion skipped the series last year, but now guns for her fourth title. Peace Corps' competition should come from me, Maggie, who trotted home strongly to win last year's mare trot. The two-time Crown champion hasn't won a race since last year, but don't count her out. The Toronto Blue Jays aren't the only sports story in town. We're just 25 miles west of downtown Toronto at Mohawk Raceway in Campbellville, Ontario, Canada, as we present Harness Racing's ultimate year-end competition, the Breeders' Crown. $1.3 million up for grabs tonight as 30 trotters and pacers will go postward in four different races. The richest races of the night, the horse trot and the horse pace. It is a chilly night in Ontario with temperatures plummeting to 45 degrees and a stiff wind kicking up from the southwest at 20 to 25 miles per hour. And here was the post-time odds with Peace Corps, the prohibitive favorite at one to nine, the three-time Breeders' Crown champion. Me, Maggie, who won back-to-back -back crowns, getting some support at 13 to one and Ebony to Hanover at 18 to one. Now we pick it up near the half mile pole. Peace Corps in perfect striking position on the outside. Here's track announcer Frank Salee. On the lead still by three parts of a length is Roe Julie. Peace Corps is methodically closing in on the outside second. Less than three eighths of a mile to go. Lady Orbitex in third. Keystone Santa Fe is getting its second over on the outside fourth. Me Maggie to the outside five. Warrowe Kira sixth at the rail. Then Ebony to Hanover and Lumax Review. Roe Julie is still holding Holding off Peace Corps by a head at three quarters in one twenty-eight and three. The mares were twenty-nine and two in the backstretch. Starting a move from far back is Ebony to Hanover. She's four wide. Roe Julie is the leader at the top of the stretch, and Peace Corps on the outside making a bid for an unprecedented fourth Breeders' Crown title now takes over, going down in history as one of the greatest of the twentieth century. An unprecedented sixtieth lifetime win. Peace Score wins the Breeders' Crown in 158 flat. Coming on to be second was Ebonita Hanover, Lady Orbitex third. Another brilliant performance by the richest harness horse of all time. Peace Corps returning $2.30, 220 and 210. Ebonita Hanover was second, $4.210. Lady Orbitex, $2.10 to show the time of the mile, 158 flat. And she shows her dominance over the world trotting mare, sitting outside of Road Julie with impunity, coming on to win Handley. An interesting commentary on what's happening with the older trotting mares is the fact that six of the eight in the field are owned in Europe. The two U.S. owned horses, Me Maggie and Ebonita Hanover, were racing in Europe and returned for this race. 